Hey there YouTube, welcome back. We have a special edition today. You're probably wondering what's so special about it. You'll find out in a second. Alright, here we go. You want to know what's so special about this episode? That's what's right there. Right in behind that blue tarp. We're gonna do the reveal of the RX-7 project that I've been doing some parts on, and you've probably seen. This, uh, this RX-7, we, my, it was bought about 20 years, maybe 25 years ago. It hasn't been on the road in at least 15 years due to many, many issues with uh, life and everything else so it's uh, been sitting around for a while and I started working on it again a couple years ago and then with my work that slowed me down and then uh, we had the garage fire here and again it took the back burner so it's been sitting around for a fair while it's uh, I believe we it was we're the second owners of it uh, I think it it was bought through a Mazda dealership. My father originally bought it from them, and I believe at the time it was just a one owner car, and then he was the second owner. And once we got it, he's never sold it. He started doing some work to it, modifying it a little bit, uh, same as we all do with cars, and then. Uh, like I said, with things that happened in life, it ended up taking the back burner and kept going downhill from there. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm throwing, you'll see a few pictures of what it used to look like before the paint job that's on it now. It does still need another new paint job, which was a result of the, the shop fire I had here. So, it's, uh, it's had a hard life. And hopefully, it's life is about to get a whole lot easier. So, what do you say we uh, go on the other side of this tarp, start showing you what we have. Uh, I do have plans to make it work a little bit nicer than, than uh, it would in stock form. You will see that as I go. Let's just say... I may be changing a fuel pressure regular to something with a little more pressure. And then we have underneath here more garbage, but uh, you can see the exhaust. It has the two and it goes into the one. We're going to connect that to the header up there. Uh, and see what we can do with that. So, the main thing I wanted to do first was get it undercover. Get it so it's to the point where it's not going to be damaged anymore if it's left open like this or, or with the tarp. Let's see if we can see how many kilometers are on it. It has 212,657 kilometers. So that's quite a decent amount. Definitely time for an upgrade anyway. Another thing I've done it in the beginning I made some new uh, kick panels, put in some DB Drive 4 inch speakers, try and make it sound a little bit nicer. But that's. That's taking the back seat this time. Make sure I don't drop the, the camera. We have all of our registration, all that good stuff. 
Now, I'm not going to show you that because of things on it. But this registration it expired back in 2012. So, that tells you how long it's been since it's been attempted to be driven. It was 2012, so we're 12 years minimum that this was off the road for. So, it's going to be a fun project. I got some rims. You'll see a video of them going up shortly. They're going to go on the car. Get some nice 15 inch wheels put onto her. Uh, make it make it proper, make it clean. There's a few things that I did have different did have changed up when I had the body work done. You know, first thing you may notice is there's no rubber trim on it. I had that covered I had that taken off and all the spots for the side markers were covered. Same with the spot for the antenna. So there's no no markings on the side like that. So we have uh, it's a nice I find it had it gives a nice clean smooth look to it. Does it? I don't have that rubber anymore, so in order to put it back on, I'd have to buy new. And that's just getting expensive. There's a company in Ontario that I found that's going to be that I'll be ordering the carpet from on the inside. So. I've got things figured out. The question now is to get it done. And to get it cleaned up in here. Amazing what two years of sitting around can do for things. So. But there she is. The 1981 Mazda RX-7 with the stock 12A minus the racing beat header so stick around you're gonna see this get built it's not gonna be a quick project but I'm gonna be uh, it's gonna be a consistent one I hope and hopefully by this the at least midsummer I'm hoping I can at least hear that engine run but who knows? So here, here you have it. That's the Mazda. That's what I've been doing the shocks for. Now we've got a lot more to do. So if you want to keep keep up with this build, follow along. Hit, go hit that subscribe button. Hit like and drop a comment. Let me know what you think of what I where I am with the car. Maybe there's something that I should do different, different ideas, so let me know. Or just uh, let me know that you're excited to take this journey with me. So, tell me, go hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go make some more. I'm going to go finish up those rims, get them ready to be mounted. So when I get the racing beat springs, I can put them in. And... Uh, See if I can at least get it so it's sitting on the ground. And then I can work on the motor and all that good stuff. So, until next time, remember to stay warm and keep it loud.